Welcome ladies and gentlemen to episode 2 of how you unlock the Phantom Bow in Battlefield 4. In the last episode we looked at how to complete the Phantom Prospect assignment, the first stage of the Phantom program, and we unlocked our Phantom Prospect dog tags. Today, the second assignment, Phantom Trainee, that became available with the Naval Strike DLC and perhaps caused me the most problem in trying to get my way through the Phantom program. So let's have a look at the best way to do this. Before we begin, it's worth mentioning that all of these assignments in the Phantom program don't actually require any order for you to unlock them, so you don't have to have done the first assignment to be able to unlock the second assignment. There is one small caveat with this assignment though, it is a little bit different to the others, I'll explain that once we get there, but overall, this was probably the, the hardest one for me to do. First of all, you need to get 200 kills with pistols. Now that's a little bit harder than getting 200 kills with assault rifles like we saw in the last assignment, but once again you can grind your way through it very easily. The way I did it, joined Operation Locker pistols only and grinded my way through about an hour to an hour and a half's worth of gameplay and eventually I unlocked that part. It's worth noting that you can really use your XP boost effectively whilst doing these assignments. If you haven't unlocked a lot of the secondaries because you just don't use pistols that often, then this is the perfect way to do it. If you've got a 50, 100 or 200% XP boost and you don't have a lot of pistols, stick it on whilst you're doing this assignment. You don't have to use each pistol each time to unlock the next one. You just have to do it on a points basis. So if you've got a 200% XP boost on there, you're going to do that a hell of a lot faster than without one. You're better off just sticking one on there and you have access to all those weapons. Next requirement, 20 kills in a jet. And this is where I got stuck. This bit I could not complete out of the Phantom assignments. And because there's no gameplay in the background of jets, that's because my gameplay was so poor that I literally just had to ram people. I had to do strafing with the rifle or the cannon or whatever you call it on the jet. I don't even know what it's called. I'm a complete jet noob. I will never get in a jet again on the battlefield. I just did not enjoy it. I would strafe one vehicle and I'd slam into the ground because I just couldn't pull it up quick enough. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> but I will never get into a jet again. But you do have to get those 20 kills. It's a grind fest if you've never got into a jet before. It's a real learning curve and it was one that I wasn't willing to take. I just went and got those 20 kills, finished the game, and then vowed never to get into a jet again. And the third part of the Phantom Trainee, two shotgun ribbons in one round. That doesn't take a lot of effort at all. I think it's six or seven kills per ribbon, so you need to get 12, 14 kills a round of TDM with a shotgun, and you've completed this assignment. One thing I will say, I mentioned this a little bit earlier on, this part of the assignment has to be done in a certain order. You can do the pistol kills whenever you like. You can do that after the jet kills or before the jet kills. But to be able to get the shotgun kills, you have to have done the jet kills first. Don't ask me why, that's just the way it works. If you try and go and get the shotgun kills before you've got those 20 jet kills, it's not going to register in the assignment. I don't know if it's a bug, I don't know if it was intentional. I kind of think they made these phantom assignments hard and varied so much to try and get people to play different aspects of the Battlefield game and I think that's a really good way of doing assignments. But jet kills was just a little bit of an acquired taste and I didn't like it very much. Like I said, I'm never going to get into a jet again, but to unlock this assignment you have to do the jet kills before you attempt the shotgun kills. And once you've done all of that, you're gifted with this, the phantom camo for your weapons. So this can go on your parachute, it can go on your tank, go on your assault rifle, your sniper rifle, your pistol, whatever you want. And again, this is a very integral part of the Phantom program. You need to have this equipped when you try and get in that elevator once we've done the third assignment. So it's worth just keeping it on your weapons at all times. It looks really cool. It's probably the best looking camo out there. And that is how you complete Phantom Trainee. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at the last assignment that you have to complete before you get access to the bow. And that is Phantom Initiate, available with the Dragon's Teeth DLC. But thank you very much for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a rating down below and leave me some comments too, they're always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.